Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to all the sincere Akim across the globe, laboring and teaching this word. All right. This is uh, the book of James, chapter 5, verse 7. All right. It says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. All right. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. All right. So we have to be patient. All right. And another word for patient or a meaning of patience is to suffer. All right. And prior to the Lord's coming. All right. We're going to be tried. All right. We're going to be uh, going persecuted, you know, uh, right. The scripture says that uh, all that live godly in Yahweh Shah Mashiach shall suffer persecution. All right. So these are the times that we are entering in. All right. Being, uh, you know, despised by this world. All right. And this devil Esau. Okay. He's uh, trying to come after the men of the Lord, man. All right. The Lord, uh, the most high's people. All right. You see demonizing us. All right. Uh, you see what I'm saying? But we must go through these things. All right. We have to be prepared and, and stay sound in the faith. All right. Not be swayed or, or, or afraid. You know, we have to be patient, man, until the coming of the Lord. All right. So this is James 5 and 7 again. It says, be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Draw nigh. All right. So it says, Establish your hearts, okay? With heart meaning your mind, all right? Uh, establish your mind, okay? Uh, let's see what establish means, what they have here in the Strongs. All right, it's the Rezo, okay? Strongs G, 4741, Seirizo, Seirizo. All right. Uh, to make stable, place firmly, sit fast. All right. To strengthen, make firm, render constant, confirm one's mind. All right. So we have to constantly endure. All right. Uh, be be firm in the faith. All right. Um, you know, this is the, the mind frame that we ought to be in, all right? Because we understand that our Lord Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. He's not, all right, we're not going to be stuck in the same predicament, all right? We're not going to be under this oppression forever, all right? We're not going to have to suffer these, these wicked uh, acts that's being pushed throughout the world, man under this oppressor, all right? You understand? All right, we got the kingdom of heaven in store for us, man. But prior to that, we got to go through this. Uh, We got to go through these these uh tribulations, man. All right, we got to go through the persecution, man. All right, you see, we, we got to be tried, all right? But we have to stay steadfast, okay? You see? So, uh, James 5 and 8. Be ye also patient. Establish your mind for the coming of the Lord. Draw of not. All right? You see what I'm saying? I'm going to jump down to verse 10. Okay? It says, Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord. For an example, 
of suffering, affliction, and of patience. All right. So let's get another scripture to uh, go with this real quick. Uh, Romans 15 and 4. All right. All right, it says Romans uh, chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we through patience, okay, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Okay, right. I'm going to read that again. For whatsoever things written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right. So as we endure this, all right, these, these, uh, you know, uh, trials, all right, we have comfort through the scriptures, man. All right. And examples of the prophets of old and our forefathers, man. All right. Men that display great show uh had displayed a great show of faith in Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. Alright. You see, we had those for examples of how we ought to endure. Alright. That we may be uh built up in the faith. Alright. That increase our faith. Alright. And this is what gives us hope. All right. Through the comfort of the scriptures, man. All right. So going back to James five. And I left off at uh, verse eight. Well, uh, verse 10. All right. It says, take my brethren, the prophets. Who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction and end of patience. OK. Verse 11, behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. All right. Once again, another example. All right. The things written before time. Okay. You see? But we should uh, remain steadfast in that, in, that, in that mind frame, all right? To just continue to labor and, and teach the gospel, man, all right? Because these, these uh, times that we're coming in, you know, are going to get uh, worse. But it's all a part of the process that we have to go through. All right, before we receive that deliverance, you know, Lord willing, all right, before we enter into the kingdom, all right, we got to go through these through these things, man. All right. Um, let's see, I'll pull up another scripture. Um. This is uh, the book of Acts 14 and 22. All right. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. All right. You see, we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. All right. You see, which... It tells of uh, Jacob's trouble, all right? You see what I'm saying? Now, you have men amongst Israel that speaks uh, things saying that uh, Jacob's trouble is gay, you know, that sword and, uh, sword and famine should not enter into this land, all right? You see, uh, it's okay to take the Karagma, all right, or what uh a 
or make light or, or make jokes about the, the MOTB, what it is, you know, the things that this devil Esau is, is, is prepping or planning to do unto us, you know, making light of it, you know, and pushing that amongst our people. All right. But hey, these are serious times, man. All right. You understand? And us being set up as watchmen, we're all commanded to, to go into these things and give warning unto our people. All right. To uh to say, hey, you know, establish your mind for the coming of the Lord draw of nigh. All right. You see what I'm saying? Seek ye the Lord now while you may be found, man. All right. You see? Um, and we supposed to exhort one another, you know, like the scripture says. Okay, to continue in the faith. Because through much tribulation, we should enter into the kingdom. Okay, it's not going to be a, a, a smooth transition. All right? You see? But we shouldn't have fear. All right? In, in, in uh, the things to come. Okay? You see? So... This is uh this is the uh the point. All right. <clears throat> hey, we gotta continue to be steadfast and uh have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. You see? And this is, you know, not a time to be in the spirit of mirth. You know, you look back at our people. All right, two-thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, are at an at ease mind frame, okay? Or they're just caught up in all the, the madness that's being heavily pushed right now, all right? The bread and circus, all right? You got the elections, all right, going on, okay? Uh, <laughs> you see, uh, you name it, all right? All these different distractions and things that's, that, that our people are, are caught into right now, okay? They are not being, you know, uh, are not measuring the times or watching, all right? Or preparing themselves, all right, for what's to come, okay? By repenting and turning back unto their power, all right? You see? So, yeah, I'm going to end with that. Um, okay. Once again, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakwadash, double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully lit. Shalom.